Hello and welcome you all. I'm with Coffee to show you a devlog number one for one coffee at a time. I think that's what it's called. So this is a game, a short game I'm gonna do. I'm of course still doing. I know Jagger is the big boy. That is the big game. So this game is there yeah, one coffee at a time. That's the name for now, and it's meant to be a cafe based game. Then eventually might do restaurants and everything like that. So basically, you own the cafe, and my main focus for it is making the food beverages and drinks is my main focus for this game i want to i want to go for the experiences of making unique food in different ways than worrying about taking down time or finance and uh, finance i mean there'd be a bit of a shop later on i think then generally it has to be i was hoping that i had to think about it so one of my streams would say that I was hoping to avoid doing too much on the NPCs, but I feel like I might have to end up doing more on the NPCs than I'd like to. Because <laughs> it kind of makes sense in a way. So we did copy, um, so what I did do here is make a game base, which now any future game will be copied off from um, the Call of the Golden Dice game. So the Call of the Golden Dice had a base game. I copied, I duplicated that, copied and made a copy called the base. So it got all those settings done and everything like that. And the pause menu, so I don't have to put that in. I'll probably update the pause menu for what I use for Unknown Dragon, which I think I might have spent the first day of February doing that. Getting that base game all sorted, or oh, base folder slash, I don't know, base game. So it's a base used for all the future games, so you get all the hearts. Which is one of the hearts. I have also realised this is something I, I haven't really generally do, have done. So it's very different. And then you have, like, all the menu stuff and all that. And it's got all the poisoning and everything like that. I don't know if I've uploaded it up in here, but if you haven't seen that video, I made a video just how easy it is to move the pausing, so... Without anything on the pausing, I do remember I have to do a single game development. Let's play it, yeah, I haven't done that. And this is to find the player this code is, and this is about the player themselves. Also, we realize there's a wall in here, I could do something pretty different strange with the hat, or pretty funny that. I've been doing a bit of work on the, the cold of the on dice, if you've been wondering what's going on that. What's outside's release, it's new update not that long ago as well. Maybe last month, or the month before, no, last month it would have been. So check out that, it's free to download if you haven't seen that one. That's one of my first full on games. So we got a few things over here. So we got a wall. We got a shelf here. So we got a few things thinking about. So let's go off to here, probably. Oh, so we got some floors here. So I'll use that for later customization for floors. And each with our own different physiology because of the different wood. And a lot of the t tops, if you have noticed, is only look like um due to the fact that it is the thicker, bigger wood. And to my personal opinion, would be the go-to wood for like counters and everything. Because I don't really want to put stone in now. I feel like that. I feel like they aren't, you know, that fancy as well. To do something like stone, I feel like that'd be better. We also got, uh, I clearly haven't got a demonstration out here, I realize. So we do this. So we do have a universal counter shape, which I've worked on, cursed, and everything like that. So if we set it up like this, there's our counter. And then we can still even load up the game. We got a player, camera, and everything moving. Oh, yeah, I also fixed up the camera for both this and. Colgon dice, because that camera has been annoying the cap <laughs> of me for a long time. And this is not going to be the final player, this is the placeholder for now. It's kind of annoying that this character is smaller than the unknown dragon one, but the unknown dragon character is going to be the high. That's the reason why I put that unknown dragon character there. So we got shelves here. So our plans to do with those shelves is that I want to make them so you can buy stuff from the shop. 
and let's say you got a teapot and a few plates you can put in a stack of plates you can put them on the shelf and then gather them anytime you want So that's the home spot and the large plates are the light are the placeholders there so we've got a spite as a placeholder over there so it's the largest one and i've got the walls pretty good i did those this morning we do have the countertops over here i don't know if they'd be too big but i do want to separate them themselves this is what we got so far <laughs> with the countertops i'm gonna stick with it a little while because well they've already knocked the crap out of me <laughs> that's nice isn't it you see how these one to see the difference between wood types and the apple the blood apple wood is the one on the floor it's wider than the dark and dark wood so the dark wood is a little bit smaller than it and then the gray gum is thick so you can cut off full sections of a door but i'm just being a small dog we also got um one called dark gum over here i made into floors that is in hindsight one of the smaller types of wood oh yeah i was realized we're still on the same unknown dragon folder i put these in unknown dragon because well that's what they're going to be careful now a lot of that inside stuff i make a new file of that so what i like doing with these games is that i decided to put them all in a parent folder so i can just go back to this parent folder all the game art and just go switch between projects really easy before we're doing that for unknown dragon and what's outside since that was a big pain in the ass and a bit of a deterrent sometimes when you're trying to do it i always find the best way if you want to work out multiple projects is to do one i think you have to do one small and you can always do your one large one. Oh, we also got a coffee machine. This is actually almost perfectly based on my real life coffee machine. I didn't even like got a photo and copied it. No, I just remembered how to mostly do it. And that's my view stove with a um oh with the oven and a stove top on top. I always jumped fifty miles ahead. See, we got chopping boards, counters. I really like how these counters are. See, that one's will find wood. That is the dark little whippers. Ah, uh, the brown paper bark, the blood wood, the blood apple tree, dark wood. So that's the main tree, the wolf birch, and the grey gum. And these are some prototypes, some little sketches. So we got two pots, cups over there, glasses, um, large bowls. Oh, that's a mixing bowl. I think that one is in large bowls here. Last plate, plates. Ah, chopping board. I would like how uh and knee board. So we have got some of these smaller pl um plates. We got a bit of flour. We got smaller bags of them as well. And we've got different bags of bowls. Right now, I do plan for those bowls to only in like change color when they're placed. I don't want color but you don't need to get color variants cut yet. It's for later torture for me. The I really like how these smaller bags turn out. And there was probably gonna be more variety of like flour and everything like that. I really like how these teapots. So that's black, that's green tea, wither mint and bush mint. Right now that's all we got now and there's different types of teapots based on my one in real life. Yeah, and I also want to do something fancy with these counters as well. So these counters are the kitchen counters more, and the other ones are the punt counters more, I guess to the way to explain them more. So we've got a kneading board over here, which is these two are both examples. So we got white and left placement. I feel like that is the best way to tackle that. Speaking of which, I need to make that its own thing. Where do I put this? I don't know. Kitchen area, back counters. Yeah. I'll put that in there. So now it's its own thing. And this is meant to have a left placement and a wire placement. Right now it's got the cutting board, which is made of two parts. So something fancy I want to plan to do with the cutting board is for whatever like fruit you interact with or food you interact with it is either a veggie, general or 
made of fish. So this one's a fish broad. This one's a meat. This one's a veggie, and this one's general. I'm pretty sure that's close to the Australian food standards. Oh well, that one's in here. Yeah, I feel like making it fancy like that. And that's a kneading board. If you haven't really used a kneading board, it's usually used for like kneading out bread. It is very helpful. And doing any pastries like that as well. Like it's pretty um, commonly used for croissants as well. You need to use that. And scones as well is another one. But I don't, I don't know, maybe I'll add it in. But you can, I meant this to be able to do it within the bowl kneading it. Although it is kind of annoying, but then it's worth, then it takes the effort out of getting out a board. But you only give yourself the space and within the bowl to do so. Because I don't feel like they haven't really become worse or better from the bowl. Yeah, I think that's it for now, actually. Can't wait to see more of this. I was thinking about doing Cody today, but then I got busy trying to make a bed and then I made cookies. Oh yeah, those are the shelves right there. And we also got some of these. So these are the countertops. That was a bit of a pain to do. So I separated the countertops of its own pattern. So first it starts off with the... Oh, I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> first it starts off with the one darker bits and then it goes and knocks out the... Uh, what's it called? The wed, then you highlight all that, and then you just put in the pattern. I think that's how it went. That one was a bit more annoying. That was kind of the opposite way, I think, if I remember correctly. Well, I can't sometimes. Yeah, see, there's the wall base. So you do the pattern on this side, and then you make that the darker. So you really change it up a bit. Ah, we like this little kelpie. I'm, like, I'm starting to make another little kelpie. A little kelpie cachet. Getting this jacket halfway through. And we do have the UI stuff around there. I did put a copy of the Darkwood Files pattern. That's the first area we're going to start with as well. Seeing as it is set in no dragon and eventually the world. Like real life. Like, a, like countries like Australia probably. <laughs> Might be in there, or whatever I want to do. Maybe I'll just want to do Australia. But I do expect to do more areas of Unknown Dragon. That is probably something I'll do. And then there's going to be like probably later on more imported stuff as soon as we got all that stuff organized. Because in the Great Plains, I do plan to put barley in there, uh, barley in there which is kind of a powerful plant. A kind of powerful grain itself because it's used in. Well, I guess, I don't know if I can do it, um, um, alcohol, specifically beer. be interesting if I can do that, but I don't know if I specifically can do that. Or I can just have to keep it a computer PC game. <laughs> no, I'm alright with that as well. I don't know about you guys. Oh, I guess you have to do mobile, so I'll check too. Well, it's going to be PC. I couldn't even thought about doing that for the, what's it said, go and all that, and it's also used in, you can also make something like Milo, which is a which is an Australian fairly if you've ever seen it. Which uses bar which uses barley, I'm pretty sure there's like a certain thing you gotta do with that one. I'm really unsure exactly how you make it, but, or how, what is in it too. But something like that could be nice. And then you get, and then you get uh, milk from that area as well, so we're not completely limited by that. And also we have a alternative milk, if you want to know. Be like, what about alternative milk? Well, in theory, I don't know if we can actually, if you can do this in real life. But as soon as you can do oat milk, that does mean you can probably do almost any grain. I don't know if it would turn out perfect, it would turn out to be as good as oat, or even better than oats, in a way of, with the grains. But that's something to keep in mind that you technically can make wheat milk 
Oh, this we water, but there was actually a type of oat oat milk milk too. Oat does actually make its own liquid from the gleans as well. Not only from it being fully grown and cost up like it's nuts, and then you got a lot of that nut milk too. And you got the grey nuts, which is the macadamians. So you can do base on the macadamians. You can do. Then you got a lot of apples, which is, and a lot of berries. Berries are pretty powerful. We can do a bit with them. I've just got some finger limes lately to cook with something. I don't know exactly know what I'm going to do with them, but I'm going to maybe find something out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that first look. I think that will be it for today. So then I do like... Yeah, I did sign on doing all this uh, stuff. I think I'm gonna put in. Hmm. I'll do print soon, do the code for it. I feel like the coding is coming soon after you've done all the silent stuff, especially with the After the War. I'm gonna start doing the coding so you can place this stuff around. And then eventually do a player that is like. suits the around here at the very least. Or just add it to the Unknown Dragon. Um, player itself, which I need to get back and do someday. I'll still do more actually, but I'm not joking. I'll probably still do, I'll probably still spend a little while just doing other stuff, other jobs like the hitboxes and attack and everything like that. If you haven't seen that, and this is your first one watching, have a look at I Know Jagan. That's the bigger game I've done, and what's outside. Little devil logs. I don't know exactly how I want the setup of this, but I reckon that looks a lot. And I, I could probably put a mixer and all that, maybe. I don't know. But I hope that looks really cool in the future. Then you have, like, blank space around here. As well. Nines, everything like that. So I hope it goes a lot. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.